so hello guys it's 10 pro over here and today i have a new video for you guys and this is gonna be the 600 i think 600 dollar gaming pc build budget obviously so stick around and don't forget to like rate subscribe to my channel and also like to take this opportunity to thank all the all of you guys who are participating on the uh, PSN giveaway if you're not just click in, the, click in the subscription and check it out So I would like to say again thanks again guys for the sick for the subscribers and for participating in the PSN giveaway that are being, that's gonna the code's gonna be out this Friday, so don't forget to like, rate, subscribe to this video, and here we kick off again. So this is gonna be the budget PC build for you guys have a little more extra dollars. Your grandma gave you a hundred bucks extra for Christmas, and you have a little bit more money to put inside this PC. So this is gonna be a killer $600 max gaming PC. So here we go. We start off with the case. It's an NZXT Source 210 Elite. Elite. Uh, it's, it can be white, it's white, but I didn't, I couldn't find a white picture of it, so I just put the black one over there. It's a mid tower gaming tower, gaming, gaming case, really good. A lot of hard drive base, a lot of space you can expand inside, and a lot of cool airflow. That's what we need to keep our system running cool. And for the motherboard, we have the MSI 970A. G43 ATX. It's a AM3 Plus socket, so it's a, sorry guys, it's gonna be an AMG build all over again. Because when coming up to when coming to budget PCs, I always think of AMG because they're cheaper. But I'll be doing Intel series later on, like this month. So don't forget to check around. And as you guys already probably know, the G, the CPU I chose is the AMG FX6300, 3.5 gigahertz, six core. It's a great CPU for its value, has 6 core, really good uh, frequencies, you can have a lot of game, you can do a lot of game, you can do a lot of video editing, rendering or whatever, running hard applications and the PC will definitely run, the CPU will definitely hold it together. And for memory, we're going with the <laughs> G-Skills Rip George X series, 8GB, 2 cards of 4GB each, DDR3. 1600 megahertz so it's basically a really good memory and it's a really good memory for the price and we'll try to keep a blue theme over here if you guys didn't notice except for the video card that I'm getting to this to this part in the end of the video and it's really good you can uh, it's not like the best out there but for a cheap budget PC build it's it's great it's great it can work for us and for storage I'm going with a Western Digital Caviar black 1 terabyte 3.5 uh, inches to 7200 rpm it's a really good hard drive for the price of only 50 bucks you can store all of your games in there easy and it's easy to upgrade in the future because of the case has more uh, hard drive base so it's really good for the f it's already future proof as i can say and kicking off to the next i have to power all the system I have the Corsair 500W, uh, 500 watts, ATX 12 volts. It's a really good, it's a really good uh, power supply, reliable, and to easily power up the whole system, including the video card. Sorry. The, so to coming up to the video card solution, I came up with the MSI Radeon R9 280, three gigabytes twin frozen. So. It's a 3 gigabyte card. You easily can, you easily can run uh, twin monitors, uh, double monitor setup with this computer. But I recommend using only one. And this is a ki killer video card. You can easily run any game at 1080p, at least at mid to, mid to high end settings. And with 3 gigabytes, you have a lot of buffer storage for your VRAM, so for your videos. So like it can easily render any game. So guys. That's all we have time for today. Please don't forget to like, rate, subscribe to my channel. Leave a like if you like it. Leave a dislike if you dislike it. This video probably. I don't know. Just leave a comment if I if you if you if you want me to improve anything on this video. I am reading your comments. I am 
uh, writing back to you guys I really appreciate the feedback from you guys so thanks again and well just enjoy some Wolfstein New Order gameplay so bye